All right, so I think we're going to go ahead and get started. Happy Friday. Welcome to Chair Yoga. I'm so glad that you're here. We're going to start by getting centered, as always. So go ahead and slide to the back of your chair, take a load off, and let's go inside. Feeling the legs uncross, your feet grounding to the floor, your seat in the chair. And as you feel your eyes close, just feel your awareness of the outer world closing as well turning that mindful gaze inward to this body, this energetic state, and this state of mind. And just noticing the general quality of all of that. How does it feel to be in this body? How does it feel to be in this mind? How does the breath feel in your body? And be careful as you're holding this awareness not to judge anything as bad or good. Stepping into that witnessing consciousness where we can just see things as they are without having to make meaning out of any of it. It doesn't mean that there aren't more favorable states, of course, or less favorable states, but that we're just accepting reality as it is. This is the body that you have. This is the way that your mind and energy are right now. And it's really the only place that we can begin. Not with some ideal, but with reality as it is. So there's an empowerment that we can attend to whatever needs to be attended to in your body and mind. Knowing that if anything does need support or relief, this practice just might give you that. And so from that perspective, go ahead and take a deeper, fuller breath. And allow your eyes to open, bringing yourself back to the space around us. Welcome, welcome. And slide to the edge of your chair, please. Have your knees and feet about hip width apart, heels stacking underneath the knees. And we'll start with the arms down. Good. Connecting to the body, connecting to the breath. With your next inhale, sweep the arms out and up. And exhale, release the arms down. Really feeling elongation in the sides of the body and spine. Inhale as you reach up. And exhale, releasing down. Good. Inhale, reach. Big breath. Exhale down. We'll do a couple more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale, reach the arms up, leaving the arms overhead, interlace the fingers and turn the palms away from you, reaching through the wrists. We're just going to do a little bit of back bend here. So feeling the shoulder blades press into the mid back, turn the chest to look up, but don't flex the lower spine. Keep the lower back where it's at. So just a slight turning of the chest toward the ceiling here. Taking a few breaths into that. Good, reach up, inhale, and exhale, release the arms on down. Whew. <laughs> Even that little bit of movement, we're starting to feel it. I'm gonna turn sideways, you can keep facing forward. For the next exercise, still where you're at, I'm gonna have you take your arms nice and wide and turn the palms toward the ceiling. This presses the scapula, your shoulder blades, into your mid back and opens the chest. So take a deep breath in here. With your exhale, sweep both arms forward, fold over the thighs and reach forward like you're holding a beach ball in front of you. And then in Then exhale, sweep forward, looking down. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, sweeping forward, looking down. And just do a few more of these on your own breath. 
it's almost like the arms are wings and you're just kind of fanning <laughs> the space in front of you. But what we're really doing here, along with you know, kind of extending the shoulders, is that we're starting to strengthen and warm up the lower back. Really recruiting those lower back muscles to lift you up and to steadily allow you to extend forward. You can think about grounding the hips here as well to the chair. We'll just do a couple more rounds. And as you reach forward this time, holding on to that invisible beach ball in front of you, keep the arms up by the ears. And though we're folding over the thighs, keep the lower back engaged. So it's more like you're hovering just above the thighs, which I know makes it a lot more fun. So breathe into that fun. <laughs> All right. And then with an inhale, come back up, open up, and release the arms down. Whew. Feel that. <laughs> uh, feeling that in your shoulders. At least that's where I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it in my shoulders. You might feel it somewhere else. But whatever it is that you're feeling, please feel it. Good. OK, actually, I'm going to stay sideways. You keep facing forward. We'll do our spinal flexes next. So hands on the thighs. Go ahead and roll the shoulders down the back. Look up, inhale. Exhale, round the back, looking down at your lap. Shoulder blades widening. Exhale. Then inhale, open back up again. And exhale, round the back. And just keep moving between these two points, creating mobility in this part of the body, especially if it's feeling stiff. This is such a great one to do if you've been sitting a lot, hunching forward, just kind of brings back that mobility to the upper spine. Just a few more times. And as you open up the chest this time, go ahead and stay. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, feeling the chest open. Breathe. And then around the shoulders, look down at your lap, feel the shoulder blades widen or separate away from each other and breathe. Good, and sit up nice and tall, dropping the shoulders down Ooh, and feel sensation. Getting nice and warmed up today. All right, so still sitting on the edge of your seat, go ahead and just drop your arms down and we'll do some shoulder shrugs. So go ahead and squeeze up the shoulders towards your ears, nice and strong, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then exhale, let it go, dropping it down gently. Inhale, squeeze it up. It's like you're gathering all the muscles of the shoulders up to the ears, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then dropping down gently. Inhale, squeezing up. And dropping, exhale. Just a few more times, squeezing up. And let it go. Squeezing up, shortening the muscles. And let go one more time and we're gonna hold for just a little bit longer. So inhale, squeeze the shoulders up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Breathe and squeeze, 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 squeeze. Squeeze up as much as you can, take a deep breath in. And then exhale carefully, Whew. drop the shoulders down <laughs> and feel sensation. What's happening in this region of your body? It's turning out to be a shoulders class. Hope that's okay. So for our next exercise, go ahead and take the right arm out to the side and then sweep the arm forward and across your body, still parallel to the floor. And with the opposite hand or arm, reach up just above the elbow and just give a nice tug, pulling the arm into your chest 
and take a deep breath into the right side of your upper back. Feeling that tractioning of the shoulder joint, that spreading of the right shoulder blade. And sitting up nice and tall, one more breath. And then carefully release the right arm down. And we'll do the other side, taking the left arm out. Go ahead and sweep it forward and across, again, parallel to the floor. Opposite hand or arm comes up above the elbow and just give it a nice tug. And pulling in towards your body. Breathe. Good, one more breath here. And then go ahead and carefully release the left arm down. Believe it or not, there's more we can do for these shoulders. So go ahead and sweep your left arm up and over. Go ahead and bend the left elbow, the hand becoming or coming behind <laughs> your head. With the right hand, you can come up and grab the forearm or grab the, the elbow and pull the arm more toward the center line of the body, so more toward the right. Now the free hand behind you, that left one, if you can, just bend the elbow deeper, bringing it closer to your spine, and then sit up nice and tall. Good. And so we do this one relatively often, and we know it's not the most comfortable thing in the world to do, so we breathe with it. Aware of the inhale and aware of your exhale. Now, something we don't always do in this pose, so just know that I don't always teach it this way, but if you want to, if you wanna take this further, should you feel like that's the case today, think about grounding your left hip bone and just lean the rib cage to the right gently. It's a little bit more space on that left side. If that feels like too much, don't do it. Just come back out. We're going to stay for just another breath or two. Good. And if you're leaning, come back up. And then don't drop the arm. Slowly release the arm. Good. Feeling the blood flow return to it, but also just the relief and release that you get in that left shoulder joint and arm. You might feel like there's more space on the left side of the neck right now. I can actually see the blood flow <laughs> coming to my arm, especially when I compare my left hand to my right hand, the, the left one's redder. So good for circulation, great for it. So we're gonna do the other side. So go ahead and lift your right arm up, bend your elbow, hand behind your head, reach up and grab the elbow or the forearm. Just give the arm a tug to the left. Bend that right elbow deeper, bring the hand closer to your spine and sit up nice and tall and breathe, breathe, breathe. Of course, if this is your dominant arm and hand, this is going to feel a little bit more. So it's okay if it's not the same as the first side. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And again, if you want to, you can lean gently to the left. Just think about the rib cage pivoting on the spine here. And rounding that right hip. And again, if this is too much, just come back out. Good, sitting up and slowly releasing that right arm, feeling it unfurl next to you and feeling the relief that comes with that release. Beautiful. Mac, uh, capitalizing on that space in the neck, we'll do our neck roll. So sitting tall, drop the left ear to left shoulder. Bring the head up, bring the right ear to the right shoulder and just keep going from side to side for a few breaths. One side of the neck, of course, might feel tighter than the other. So just note that. And then we'll do the add-on to this practice that I kind of came up with a couple of weeks ago. So go ahead and drop your ear to a shoulder. 
doesn't matter which one, we'll do both sides. <laughs> and once the ear is dropping toward that shoulder, allow your chin to diagonally drop down toward that collarbone, same side collarbone. And you'll feel a big stretch on the opposite side of the neck a bit more than before. Breathe. Good, then draw the chin to center, bring the head up, and we'll do the other side. So dropping the ear toward its shoulder, doing the other side here. Once you've established that uh, direction, then draw the chin toward the same side collarbone. You can feel that big stretch on the other side of the neck here. And breathe. Uh, then draw the chin to center and bring the head back up. And then to start the side to side thing that we'll do, just drop the chin down to the chest to start, feeling the back of the neck stretch. And see if you can just tuck the chin a bit more, almost like you're trying to make a double chin. And then begin to roll the head to one side, ear to shoulder. Roll down and back to the other side, ear to shoulder, and just keep doing these half circles, feeling the back of the neck stretch, just coaxing that tension out of the neck here. And of course, we are breathing. At least I hope we are. If you're not, just, just start it back up again. <laughs> Just breathe a few more times from side to side. In fact, as you make these last few movements, just notice if there's a certain direction here that just feels more important than the others. And then go ahead and come to that point wherever it's at and just stop. We're just gonna give that point a little bit of extra love, extra attention. If you don't have a point, just keep moving from side to side. Most of us have a point, if not more than one. Noting that if you do have more than one, you can always return to this practice later to attend to the other directions. Good. For now, go ahead and drop the chin to chest and lift the head straight up to neutral. <sighs> Feeling sensation. My head feels all loose now. <laughs> So what we're gonna do next, we haven't actually twisted our spine yet. So go ahead and sit nice and tall and bring your right hand over to the outside of your left thigh, okay? And if that's just too far for you, you can just bring it to the inner thigh. But if you can, bring it to the outside. Left hand comes to the cushion next to you or the chair back behind you if you have more rotation in your spine. And then sit up nice and tall, take a deep breath in. With your exhale, roll the left shoulder back turn the chin to look behind you. Now staying in the pose, sit up tall again, deep breath in. And exhale, roll the shoulder back a little bit more, twist, 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 and stay for about five deep breaths. Just keep guiding that left shoulder further back behind you. Good, one more breath here. And then inhale, carefully unwind to center. Hmm. Let's go in the other direction. So bring your left hand to the outside of your right thigh, right hand to the cushion or the chair back behind you. Please sit up nice and tall, deep breath in. And with your exhale, roll the right shoulder back, looking behind you, twist, twist, twist. Inhale, sit up taller, stay in the pose. Exhale, twisting even deeper, looking behind you. And again, staying for about five or so breaths.
One more breath here. And with your next inhale, carefully unwind. Good. Sitting up nice and tall, open the heart, look up. And with your exhale, fold over the thighs. Now your hands can stay on the legs if you'd like to, or they can hang to the floor. Do whatever feels good for you. Now your furthest point in the fold, let the chin drop toward the throat, the head hanging down. And we'll just take a few deep breaths here. And all right, with your next inhale, go ahead and carefully sit all the way up. Okay. One more exercise. So go ahead and just drop your arms down for a moment. Just start to wiggle your fingers. Shake your hands. Let it come up into the elbows a little bit. And breathe. And you can start to take your arms out to the sides a little bit. It's really shaking it off, whatever it is might be. Maybe lifting the arms up overhead. Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> hmm. Shake it off, whatever it might be. Just a few more seconds. Three, two, and one. Drop it down. Just feel. Good. So when you're ready, go ahead and slide to the back of your chair and we'll spend a few moments meditating. Letting the eyes close, just bring your awareness to sensation to start. Maybe you still feel some tingling in the arms and hands from those arm shakes. And also noticing any other sensation Maybe from the neck and shoulders, we did quite a bit with those today. Maybe some energy from twisting, maybe in the abdomen. And how is your breath? How is your mind? And then become aware here of the movement of your rib cage. Inhale, feeling the rib cage wide and gently. Exhale, feeling the rib cage narrowing gently. Aware of the rib cage widening and narrowing. Inhale and exhale. And as you're aware of this movement of the rib cage, become aware of the point at the center of your chest inside of your body that the rib cage expands away from and contracts towards. The point at the center of the chest inside of the body. In yoga, we call this the heart center. It's a space of love and compassion, joy and acceptance. 
And at that point, I'd like you just to imagine some form of light. Could be a star, could be a light bulb, spark, whatever arrives for you. Could even be a flame if you want it to be. And just see it shining from that point into every cell of your body creating a sense of inner radiance. And contemplating that light and that space around the heart, I want you to think of the first thing that comes to your mind when I ask you the question, what brings you joy? You may be surprised about what pops up first, but just go with it. Clearly, it brings you joy. And when you have it in your mind, asking the question again, what else brings you joy? And once you have that, asking yourself again, what else brings you joy? 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 And as you remember all these things, even just kind of listing them in your head, you actually just might start to feel a sense of joy. So allow that to expand within you. Whatever seed of light you might feel around joy, let it become bigger inside of you. Now, all of these things that you have remembered that bring you joy have one common denominator, and that is you. They don't cause joy or they don't give it to you. They bring it out in you. So really, you are the source of your joy. All of these things you remember are still important because they help to bring that out in you, but it actually is latently inside of you all along. And so know that to be true. Remember that as you head into your weekend. If you need this, if you need joy, of course, you could engage with the world around you, but it is right here inside. Know that, remember that. So from this connection to joy, go ahead and take a deeper, fuller breath. Bring the palms together in front of you, rubbing them together. And take the heated palms over the eyes, brushing over the top of the head and down the neck and bringing yourself back to the space around you. 